What's up, what's up, what's up, LCCA? It's your favorite music teacher, Mrs. White. teacher Mrs. White. Ah! I'm so excited to come with lesson four. Oh my goodness, we have so much in store for you today. We are actually going to make a instrument. Oh my goodness, what is it gonna be? Is it gonna be a guitar? Is it gonna be a tambourine? Is it gonna be a piano? No, it's not, but you got to stay tuned in order to see what it is. Now, before we do that, it's time to dance for the song of the week. Oh, my goodness. You're going to love it. I know you probably already know it. Boom, chicka, boom. Here we go. Yeah. Boom, chicka, boom. A repeat after me song. This is a repeat after me song. I said a boom, chicka boom. 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 I said a boom, chicka rocka, chicka rocka, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka rocka, chicka rocka, chicka boom. Okay, bye. <laughs> 
uh, okay. Bye, guys. Yes, I'm so excited that you've made it to music class today. Well, we have some exciting things today. How many of you love the rain? Like you love to go outside and play in the rain. You love the smell of the rain. You love just when it's raining, how you can stay in your PJs and just get cozy on the couch and watch Netflix. So, uh, well, yeah, maybe that's something Ms. White likes to do. <laughs> Not really you, because you probably enjoy sunshine. But rain is essential. We need the rain because it, 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 it makes sure that the trees grow and the flowers grow and it makes sure that all the animals have something to drink and so rain is very important. So today we are making a musical instrument. And so I want to introduce you to what we are making today. We are making a rain stick. Have you ever heard of a rain stick? What in the world is a rain stick? Well, I have a video about it and I want you to check it out right now. Just exactly what is a rain stick? Who makes rain sticks and how are they made? Well, this is a rain stick and rain sticks are made by people in Africa, they were made by the Aztecs, they're made by Native Americans, and this particular rain stick was made by the Diaguita tribe, people who live in Chile just below the Andes Mountains. How are real rain sticks made? People take a cactus that has died and has fallen down, and while it is still soft or just beginning to dry out, they'll cut it into sticks the length that they want. Then, as you can see here, the thorns of the cactus are pulled off and turned around and pushed back into the cactus, all along the cactus, in holes that are naturally made. These spiral down or go up and down depending on the type of cactus. Then the cactus is put in the sun to dry, and a piece of the cactus is put in the bottom to seal it. Then the cactus is filled with something natural. This particular rain stick is filled with little pebbles. I know that Native Americans in the southwest of Arizona make rain sticks and fill them with the seeds of the cactus. We are going to make rain sticks too. And if we're not fortunate enough to have a piece of cactus lying around, there are other things that we can use. So won't you join me as we make a rain stick. My, 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 wasn't that video so intriguing? Oh my goodness, I love the sound of the rain stick. So you know what, I have to make sure before we start our fun and our project, make sure that you're learning a little something. So guess what time it is? Mrs. White's Pop Quiz! Okay, so mm, I have a series of questions that you're going to see here. And the answers are going to be here. And I want you to tell me what the answer is, okay? So let's start with question number one. Rain sticks are made from people in New York City, Europe, Africa, or Walmart. Which answer do you think? Correct! The answer is Africa by the Aztecs. Good job, good job. Okay, question number two. Real rain sticks are made from what? Tree bark? Wood? Dead cactus? Doggy biscuits? Dead cactus. Ew. Final 
question. What is the cactus or the rain stick? What is it filled with? And I want you to go on a scavenger hunt throughout your home. Because you say, hmm, Miss White, I don't know how to make a rain stick. Well, I'll give you a hint on some of the items that you may need. So take a look at all of these items. Aren't they awesome? Well... Are you ready to go on a scavenger hunt throughout your home and find your items to make your rain stick? Oh my goodness. So listen, I want you to go throughout your home. I want you to find crayons or markers or tape, yarn, um, anything that you can find, scissors, anything. But listen, you will need to have three essential items that you must have to make this project. So one of them is a paper towel holder for your rain stick. Yes, you will need a paper towel holder or you can have a toilet paper holder. Now your rain stick probably won't be as long, but it still works as well. So you will need these two items. Another essential item that you'll need is rice or beans. Beans or rice. Beans and rice. Oh, that sounds wonderful. If you're down here in the South like I am, you love a big bowl of beans and rice and sausage, let me tell you. So you'll need some rice or beans to make the sound of your rain stick. Another essential item you need is paper. You're gonna need two sheets of paper at least to color and draw on to make the design on your rain stick. But let me tell you, you should, I can't find any regular paper or any white paper. Construction paper, any type of paper will work. Or if you can't find any paper, just draw on your paper towel holder and you can draw on that as well. So I'm gonna put 20 seconds on the clock and I want you to go on that scavenger hunt and bring back some amazing items, okay? Go. Because I'm happy alone if you feel like a room is without a roof. Because I'm happy alone if you feel like happiness is the truth. Because I'm happy alone if you know what happiness is in you. No, no, no. Club alone if you feel like that's what you want to do. or to the phone, let me see it. Oh, I love those. Oh my goodness, yes! Those are some beautiful crayons, I love that. Oh, I, you in the back, I love your rain stick. That is so cool. So listen, oh. now what we're gonna do, we are going to draw on our sheets of paper. So if you have your paper there, I want you to get started. Now, I'm gonna show you. I've, while you were gone, kind of already got started. And I I just want to show you my design that I drew, maybe to give you some ideas, okay? So, on my first design, here it is. I did lines and I did squares and triangles. Can you see that? Yeah, I did some squigglies in there, uh, just to make it really nice. And I use all different kinds of colors. And you want to see my second one? My second one is, and those are forms, different forms of lines. My second one is abstract. Oh my goodness, look at that. Yes, it has all kinds of squigglies and lines and colors. Really abstract, okay? So that's what I want you to do. 
I want you to get started on your sheet of paper and draw pictures, you can draw lines, you can draw squares, circles, just make sure you fill up the entire page, okay? So while you're doing that, I'm going to get started on what's next, okay? See you in a little bit. We are back. Let's see those pictures. You are an artist. That is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Really? Did you really draw Sonic? Really? Really? <laughs> no. My little boy, that's what he would have drawn. If he would drew, if he was in here, he would have drew Sonic. Okay. So, but what we're going to do is we're going to take our sheet and you're going to, the side that you drew on, you're going to put that face down and then you're going to take your uh, paper towel holder and you're going to put it on the top and you're going to take your glue stick or if you don't have a glue stick, you can take some tape and just, and, and tape it while well, I'm using a glue stick. So what you can do is wrap your paper towel holder or your uh, tissue holder. Um, now, if you use a tissue holder, you may have to cut the paper just so it can fit nicely on your uh, paper towel holder. And I will show you an example of that in just a minute. Because I know, you know, everybody probably don't have a paper towel holder at home. But, um... Some of you do, some of you may have it. So, you will wrap your rain stick and make sure that when you wrap it, it's even on both sides. Make sure both sides are very even on the, on the sides, okay? All right, look at this, look at this, isn't this? All right, now, for those of you that don't have a a paper towel holder and you only have a tissue holder, I'm going to show you just really quickly how you can wrap this. So what you would need to do is you would need to measure it, take a sheet of paper and you would need to measure and maybe put a little marking there and draw a line just so you can see how long you have to cut. And then once you do that, you can cut your paper and then you can take your tape or your your uh, glue stick like I'm doing also. And you can also wrap the paper towel, I mean the toilet tissue holder. And uh, let's see, put that there. And there you go. It's all wrapped and ready, all wrapped and ready. Okay, so now what we're gonna do next is, and remember that second sheet I told you to make? You're going to take your second sheet and what you're going to do is you are going to cut it into four squares. Four squares, just like that. And, I, and I'm saying four squares because you're gonna have to use two of these squares on each end, okay? And I'm cutting mine into four squares because I'm making two actual rain sticks here. So just to show those that either you have the paper towel holder or the tissue holder. Okay, and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the, the edges. So it can be like, kind of like a circle. So can you cut those edges? Just like that. So it can be kind of like a circle. Okay, awesome. And so that's kind of like how it, how it ended, okay? Okay, so what you're going to do is, this is really cool, you are going to take it and put it on top just like that. See how cool that is? Now, here is where those rubber bands, if you found some rubber bands, they're gonna come in handy, or if you found some ribbon, that's gonna come in handy, or if you found some yarn like I did, that's gonna come in handy. What you need, you need something that where you can take it and you can put it down just like that and cover the top. I use a rubber band. See that? I use a rubber band to cover mine. So now you see that? You see how I use that rubber band? But however, if you don't have a rubber band, you can use uh, some ribbon if you have some ribbon. See, you can use some ribbon and 
tie the ribbon around it as well. Okay, so here we go. See, isn't that cute? And you should still have the opening and you still have, and you see the closing of it? Yeah. And you, and then you have the open side, okay? All right. Okay. Now we're going to, you need that rice or those beans I was telling you about. Okay, you need those beans and rice. Now make sure your parent is helping you or you've already measured your, uh, how much rice you're gonna put in your rain stick so you won't have a huge mess um, like Miss White is about to do. <laughs> so, okay. so I'm gonna take some rice and I'm gonna pour it on a sheet, just like that. So you don't need much. You, this is about, about a little palm full of rice. That's about how much that is. And then I'll take my sheet and I can just fold it over. And now the rice is in there. And then I can take it and put it inside here and let it fall out. So that way I don't have a mess. And as you can see, it's empty because all the rice is in here, okay? All right, now let's see. Let's do the same thing with our little one. And those of you, if you don't have to do two like I did. And, and if you have a little one like this, you don't need a lot of rice. You actually do not want to use a lot of rice because you want it to be able to make that awesome sound, okay? So it is time to wrap this thing up. So you should have one end should already have your uh, end piece on it and the other end should be open. And so what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to make it kind of like a little circle almost. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this one as well for my little ring stick. Okay. Okay, and then you're going to do the same thing. You're gonna put it on the top. Make sure your colorful side is showing. You're gonna put it on the top, cover it. Then you're gonna take your rubber band or your string or your tape or whatever you have. And you're going to, uh, and I'm, I'm putting string just to add another level of protection because let me tell you something. You don't want that rice to fall out and then get all over your mother's floor <laughs> and then she'll be like, you yeah, got that rice, I'm gonna get you Miss White. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You are all done. You have a rain stick, guys. So you should have this end should be closed and this should, end should be closed. And the same with the smaller mini rain stick. And so there you are. We're about to play it in just a minute. Let's clean up our area. But if you want to, before you clean up, if you want to go ahead and make some more marks on your rain stick, you can if you want to write on a little bit more. But I'm going to clean up my area and then we're going to play our rain mm. stick. Okay. Well, you make sure that all of the rice or your, your inside, the rain, is on one side, okay? Hold it really firm on one side. And as the music plays, you are going to tilt it. Yes, okay. Oh. So now we're going to play some music and we're gonna play our rain sticks. Are you ready? Here it goes. Give yourself a hand. Well, guys, it has been a blast 
making rain sticks with you today. And guess what? You can even use them as shakers. <laughs> but just make sure you're holding on really good so your rice won't go everywhere, okay? Okay, it's been awesome making these rain sticks with you today. And I hope to see you on lesson five. Do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And also if you're on Facebook, go ahead and share the video. I'm pretty sure there are so many kids out there that would love to do this project with you. So listen, I want you to do me a favor. Keep on singing. It's good for you. Today with a smile on my